our Cassandra, we come to this day in love and in light and in truth. This is acceptable to you. Yes. Good. So, um, we actually requested this communication because this is the time of year that we always do a sort of public gathering. And as we cannot do a public gathering, we decided to do it anyway. And, and so we are taking the collective of those that have connected to us, whether you have been in a personal situation or you have been in a group situation. We are taking the collective energy and we are going to communicate to you with regards to what's going on and what you can do and particularly over this next 12 months because if you believe that once you are free from your homes that will be the end of it you're mistaken so let's start from the beginning this is a battle that you are in and it's a battle for consciousness for souls and most of you understand that it cannot be simply a virus. There has to be another agenda, and you're correct. And so we could go into all the darkness of it, but we did speak of this before. We said that this virus was released earlier, and as a result of that, it wasn't fully incubated, so it wasn't as strong as it was meant to be. So you can say that the light is winning because... It was the forces of the light that allowed it to be released earlier in a less um, strong form, potent form. So for that, you can be grateful. Now, so is that understood? Yes. Sir. Yeah? Oh, good. And, and so we spoke about this in the previous videos, but what we would like to talk about is um, the good part of it. Yeah, because there's always in 3D and 4D two sides to everything. There's the good and the bad. Your role is to choose, that's why it's a battle of consciousness, is to choose what uh, side of that consciousness you wish to reside on. So if you're residing in the light and you're absolutely clear on that, then there is no room for fear. There is no room for uh, aggressive behavior or anything like that. You have to be able to align with the love that you have in yourself for humanity and that includes all living things, not just human beings. You never consider yourself humanity as just being human beings. You must consider it as all animals, all plant life. It is humanity as a whole that we're referring to. So if you think about the fact that many of you have been inside now for a bit of time, and interesting, interesting, often we have people approach us with regards to their financial situation. So they want to know how to make more money and they believe that this is going to give them safety and security and freedom to have more money. And we say to them, well, actually, your emotional vibration and the vibration you put out onto the planet is the determiner, determining fact as to whether or not you'll get that money, not the money itself. It is the creator of that freedom, the creator of feeling free, of feeling secure, of feeling safe, allows that money to come in to continue that feeling. So money is a response to your energy frequency. Now, at the moment, you're, you, so in other words, you've given money a lot of power, but you're seeing that in this confinement, that money is not your power, it's not your commodity, right? Because the money's been taken away, it's been taken out of the equation for many, mm -hmm. right? So. Yes, your governments may be giving you some money, you might have some savings, you might be able to work from home, 
However, you're all being confronted with the paradigm of your finances and freedom. So what we're saying to you at the moment is money, money is not the currency to give you freedom, is it? Right? Yeah. You think it is, but here you are in a situation where many of you are closed in and trapped and it wouldn't matter how much money you had, you couldn't leave. So it's showing you that money is not the key to freedom. Mm -hmm. Very clearly. And it's also allowing many time and space to go within and to think about what can they do? What's their currency? Your currency is your consciousness. And we've been telling you this for a very long time. And now you are in precisely the place to understand. Precisely, because it, the, the money factor has been removed in a way, right? Mm -hmm. So it's time for you to realize that your currency is your energy, it's your consciousness. And the only thing that's going to set you free is that consciousness. And how do you do that? Is you stop worrying, you stop hating, you stop, you know, um, how can we say, comparing yourself to others, uh, allowing yourself to be led into competitiveness. Stop all of that. And you sit in the place of your heart, meaning you sit in your silence. And if you were to uh, listen to that, you would say, okay, so I don't have the capacity to earn money at the moment. I don't have the capacity to be free. So clearly money isn't giving me freedom. So what is going to give me freedom? What is going to bring me peace and safety and security at this moment? And perhaps you'll find that it's your consciousness. It's the way you view the world around you. So you might say, well, you know, uh, the government, they have power over me. I can't do anything. I'm trapped. I, I, I'm just one person. I can't say anything. I'm too afraid to speak up and do something because I'll be fined and then I'll have less money or I'll be thrown in jail and I will be, you know, persecuted in some way. So that is your state of mind these are your thought patterns this is your past rearing itself up because consciousness has memory and you remember all the other times whether it is in this lifetime ancestral lifetimes or past life lifetimes that you remember being controlled, enslaved, disempowered. What are all these factors have in common? It's the emotion. So what have we been telling you all for years? Everything starts in the spiritual, energetic realm, and then it works its way down. So it starts on those levels with an inspiration. Then it goes down into the thought field, yeah? So you, you, you get the inspiration, you start thinking about it, you wonder, okay, is this a good idea, is it not, etc. You open up your voice box, you share it with others, and that's when you go into the emotion. It's other people's responses to what you are sharing, right? So some people will say to you, great idea, what can I do to help? And you feel the joy of this inspiration, you're inspired, you're activated to put it into action because it is in harmony with your feeling. And it's in harmony with the emotions of the people around you. Now, what happens, uh, and then it goes into the physical, and it's the same for dimensional realities as they are being built in a physical reality. So let's say planet Earth. So now you've got 5D coming into manifestation. So first it's a, an inspiration. Guess what? You don't have to live under duality. 
you can actually still be male and female and have equality, which is the middle road. So you can start to see each other as souls and not genders. And what's interesting about that, just that fact, is that, remember, underneath the fifth, dark and light coexist. After the fifth, or at the fifth, they separate, they do not coexist. Right? So in order for dark to still exist, it must hijack the inspiration of the, the light, right, the fifth of unity consciousness to keep it in the dark. And how does it do that? So you get the inspiration, all right, men and women are equal. They're still in that gender form, but they're equal. They, they equally need to be heard, respected and understood, right? So you understand that the difference between the male and female energies, however you uh, see their strengths and you work towards their strengths and when you are hiring someone, etc., you're not looking at the gender, you're looking at the knowledge, the expertise, etc. So they should get equal pay for that, right? So you're mm -hmm. talking about equality. What is equality? Equality is fifth dimensional frequency, isn't it? It's the middle ground. Mm -hmm. It's a third component. So what does the dark do? The dark says, oh, yes, yes, we agree with that. So why don't we say, why don't we put it into sexuality and say that this woman can turn into a man and this man can turn into a woman and they are free to choose what gender they want to be. And now you've got six-year-olds having medication to turn them into another gender. And any of you that have children understand how easy it is to manipulate a child into believing something. They will believe in fairies. They will believe in the divas. They will see them. They will sense them. They will also believe in monsters and be scared. They will believe uh, in, in anything you put in their minds, right? Mm -hmm. So their imaginations are incredible. So if you start placing in a child's mind they're another gender, very subtly, or that that other gender is more loved and more acceptable than the one that they're in, they'll go for the other one. So that's how the dark hijacked equality. You'll see the symbology everywhere and you will see the, how they have hijacked everything everywhere. Now, we're not saying that there aren't a few that because of perhaps their, their soul frequency or some uh, discrepancy in the DNA feel they're in the wrong gender body. But they are, in all honesty, very, very unique and very few. Very few. And, and part of the reason that you're seeing so much of this is they have been playing with gender through the vaccines. So um, what we want to say to you is this. In this time that you have the opportunity to be silent, to go within, to use your consciousness, to not feel fear, to see the truth of what's going on and not react in fear and hold that consciousness of peace, of calm, of truth, more importantly, then this will turn around, but not before there's another battle. Because just as they try to wear you out, let's say, in all facets of your life, they will try to wear you out to you acquiesced to their agenda. Mm -hmm. 
And the only power you have is not money. It's your consciousness. And we can tell you, like we did before, the light is one step ahead. And that is why all of this information is coming out. What is information? Information is power, isn't it? Right? You think money is power, but it's not. Because you, you can't use money to get yourself out of the house. So it's not your ultimate power. Information is power. And what does information do? It, it, it fills the consciousness with understanding. And what does that do? It relaxes you because you know the truth. So information is power. So how are you going to get your consciousness in full power? You're going to seek out information. So all of these people sitting at home, looking at the internet, doing all of these things, are looking for information to give them a sense of power in the situation they're in. So for those of you who feel that you have to be silent because someone is going to attack you on social media for speaking your truth, etc., we are asking you not to because your information is power and knowledge for someone else to wake up. So people are being paid. There are bots, you know, artificial intelligence that is created to shame you, to ridicule you, to make you feel fear, to, to make you feel horrible, like you want to crawl in a hole. We're asking you not to. Delete them, delete it, move forward. Don't delete the post if you believe it's, it's telling the truth. Just delete them. Give them no power. Silence them. But don't silence yourself. And as your truth gets more and more uh, listened to, and it reaches more and more, of course, that's one thing they're going to want to silence you. So perhaps you can start using code. So in other words, when you write something, use numbers and letters to formulate the sentence. So when you look at the word three, for instance, it is spelled T-H-R-E-E, -E, T -H -R -3 -3. You see? You see? Four can be A. Start putting numbers in there and making a code so that the bots don't pick up on what you're saying. So start to use your consciousness to get the word out of the truth of what's going on. Because knowledge is power. And the more people you can bring into a state of peace, the more the truth will be revealed because darkness is something that has been hidden. Hidden in plain sight through symbology and everything else. But it's something that has been hidden. And because majority of souls on the planet are good, they are light beings, they, they, they cannot conceive of this darkness. And when someone tries to convince them that darkness exists, they get afraid. It's like the boogeyman under the bed. Oh, I don't want to think about that. I won't be able to sleep. And if I have to think about that and I can't sleep and I get nervous, I'm going to go into fear. So, you know, they, when you remain peaceful, and bring this vibration of truth out, yeah, and let the darkness be revealed and the truth come out. Those that have been afraid of it will start seeking it out without you pushing it upon them. So they will seek out your words. They will seek out your videos. They will seek out your information themselves because they will start to get inspiration, inspired, 
to seek out answers. And remember we said all dimensional realities start at that level first and then it works their way down. Where are you on the table of 5D? You're at the emotional level of the creation of it, which is why they are, they being the darkness, are invoking very strong emotions in you because they know you're almost there at the physical. It's spiritual, energetic, mental, emotional, physical. It works its way down. You already understand the mental part of it. No need to know that. For, for you that are listening, obviously, there are new ones that do need to understand it. It's growing. But the world at this moment is at the emotional phase. And that's why they are provoking the emotions. Now, let's look at that from a positive point of view. For the past 12 months or so, you have been seeing a connection between animals and human beings that surpassed anything that you saw in the past. Acts of love, bravery, connection, and also different um, species of animals coming together in friendship. And, and you have seen this. Why is that? Because the animal kingdom resides in the emotional vibration. They don't communicate, yeah? It doesn't mean they don't have a mind. It just means that because they don't communicate in language that you as the, the, the human hears, they communicate through emotion. So the dog feels or the, the horse feels when you're nervous, but the horse also feels when you're kind. The same with the dog, the same with the cat. All animals respond to emotion. So it's through that kingdom that you are being anchored into the emotional reality. So for many of you, you've introduced animals into your life or you've wanted them, right? So or you, 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 you feel a stronger connection to them. You want to go more in nature because you're looking to ground that emotional frequency of 5D. And you're grounding it, right? And they are responding to it. And, and, and so that's the beautiful thing that is going on at this moment. So we are suggesting that you don't allow people who are afraid, people who haven't, uh, who are being emotionally blackmailed and manipulated, to do the same to you because you're in the emotional field at the moment and that's what you're anchoring and once you've done that you'll go into the physical now we've said to many of you that the plane of, of the mental plane is usually quite big because mostly you've operated off the mental plane so it's a it's a very big uh, complicated at times diverse dimension a plane, a plane within a dimension. The emotional is smaller. So let's take a couple of things as examples. In 1987, four D was 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 starting to come down. So again, you went into the uh, energetic aspect of it. Well, after that, you had all of your um, computers, all of these things, right? So your mobile phones, all of that. Everything started to happen after 1987. And then, of course, that was the energetic side, the mental side. It went into the emotional side of really feeling energy and understanding that you needed to have compassion for all nations, etc. And then it went into the physical side. So the physical aspect of that has been very important to, to many of you. Right? But in 2012, so it didn't take that long to anchor. And, it, and in some cases, it isn't completely anchored, even the fourth in some countries, right, in some, some areas. So in 2012 was when the, the 5D, some call it fourth density, 
was uh, starting to anchor. So you've gone through the energetic aspect of it into the mental aspect of it. Now you're breaking into the emotional, uh, emotional aspect of it and it's quicker than 4D. So that's why we're saying the next 18 months, 12 months, 18 months are going to be very important because it's 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 that time frame that you start anchoring, you start moving through the emotional frequency and going into the physical. We're not saying the whole planet's going to be in the physical of 5D, but we're saying those that are listening to this will. And there are always those that um, are the forefront of any evolutionary movement. And this is a, an evolutionary step forward. And that's actually what's going on. So you're now in fifth dimensional emotional reality and the darkness is really desperately trying to take you away from it, to put you in fear, to put you in panic mode, to put you in anger, to make you feel worthless, and all of those grey matter things to keep you in division in any way possible. So if you are being abused on any level, if you're being called names or accused of anything, Bless those people and move on. Because all they do, they're being used. They're being used by the darkness because they're not strong enough to understand when they are being communicated to, to do something that's quite damaging to another, another living being. You know, you have... Um, situations on the planet where children are being abused children are being abused because they're not vaccinated or their parents believe in another uh, religion or their parents are from another political party children who are innocent are being abused by adults so what we we have to say to you is what sort of adult would do that Certainly not one with any level of awareness or consciousness. So therefore, that adult is easily influenced by negativity. And that's what's being played out. And those of you that have a strong sense of who you are already and a very clear vision of where you want the planet to go or even a clear knowing, that no, this can't happen, it's not going to happen. Even that knowing in yourself states your consciousness because your gifts and talents are shown up in different ways. So some have knowing, some have seeing, some have healing, and some have hear, hearing, you know? So your, your, your consciousness shows in different ways. And this is important for you to come to the realization of. And your job is not to separate yourself because you have that awareness and consciousness, to separate yourself from mankind and protect yourselves in a corner and say, well, you know, I don't care about you. I'm okay. Because that would just take you back into 4D and separation. But you don't have to save them either because that would also take you back into 4D and separation. You don't need to save anyone. All you need to do is hold the consciousness and don't waver from it. Hold the space of love in your heart. Hold the vision that you have, the dreaming, the inspiration, the feeling that you have for earth and hold that without hesitation, without doubt, and you will create it. And what will happen is those people who are being influenced 
Well, as we said, these things will start dividing. So they, their lives will get worse and worse and worse. More and more of their liberties will be taken. If they are influenced to take the chemicals, then their health will be compromised greatly. So they will, unfortunately, their lives will not get better. Now, for all of you that are listening, when you haven't listened to your own inner knowing, when you haven't listened to your instincts, and you've bullishly in the past kept moving forward with a relationship, with a job, with something and saying, no, 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 I'm going to bring this, I'm going to make this happen, I'm going to, you know, because you wanted to dominate it, control it and prove how powerful you were and it didn't work out. It in some cases almost destroyed you from exhaustion and using your sheer will. When you stubbornly held on to something, that wasn't servicing you, you collapsed. You collapsed. You went into the dark night of the soul to the point where you had to surrender, let go of control, let go of fear, and accept God into your heart. And then your life becomes a flow again. You leave the relationship, you leave the job, yeah, you leave the situation. And for a while, life is empty because you're in the void of recreating everything. So life is empty. And then it starts to fill up again. Because like all cycles, there is death and then there is birth. Something leaves, something comes. So these people who are in fear at this moment need to experience that dark night. They need to experience what the limitation of their mind is creating for them, what their fear is creating for them, what their desire to control and to have power is creating for them. You have already been through this. So as we said, it's not for you to save them. It's not for you to negate them. It's for you to hold the space so that they can come to you or to your consciousness. So keep reaching out, finding out information, supporting each other in that information. And another thing about the information we want to, to bring up as well. Because you're from different frequencies, some of you are from now, now some of you are from interdimensional, some of you are from other planets etc. You're from different places and different places hold different truths on what they believe reality is because there are all these different realities. The reality of Earth is not the truth for the reality of the Palladians at all, at all. Yet both are truthful, right? Both are right. And that goes the same with every, every species. So when you hear something and you think, well, that's not right, that doesn't sound right to me, you don't need to bash that person and shame that person and, you know, publicly claim that that person's lying and that person is this, that and the other. You don't need to do that. Just walk off. Move on to something else. Because they might be holding truth for a whole group of people. For instance, what you may not like at all is darkness has truths. Horrible truths for us, for you. Horrible truths. But it's their truth. It's what they 100% believe is their reality how they want to live, what they find the nicest thing in life, right? The nicest thing about their reality. You would be horrified, but it's their truth. 
and they have their truth and they believe in it. And there are what you call human beings and certain star seeds that are residing in human bodies that are directly associated with the darkness and are part of said darkness. And they honestly believe it's their truth. And there's nothing you can do to convince them otherwise. The only thing you can do is say, let me concentrate on mine and make mine bigger than yours. In reality, right, so in the atmosphere, make mine bigger than yours so that my reality and anyone who wants to come in and join my reality can live in that reality and you can go over there. And in your reality, you might have all the nations and you might just say, well, look, you know, I believe that you honestly want to live in unity, consciousness and peace, even though you might believe that um, you can be married to five women, let's say. Or you might believe in this religion. But it's okay, we can all live in harmony. You see, what's been set up by darkness is separation in every single field that you have. And it has been systematically instituted into your institutions, you know. It's been put in your financial sector, your education sector, all government sectors, all medical, all science, all media, all of it, all of it has been infiltrated by darkness, that all agree that you are their slaves and you will do what they tell you to do, that they will control you and you will be enslaved. That's the ultimate goal. And your consciousness is saying, no, thank you. I believe in freedom. As we said, freedom doesn't come from money. So if you're thinking, wow, you know, you've got the wealthiest families in the world aligned with darkness. They have more money. They have more control. They can do and whatever they like. Maybe it appears like that. But at some point, they're going to leave the physical body. And if you are shining your consciousness, your light from the heart with the frequency of truth being revealed, the truth will be revealed about them. The darkness hides itself. You know, light shines on the darkness and exposes it. That's what you're here to do. And then you, you get surrounded by darkness and you say, oh my goodness, I need to hide. They want you to hide. Because as long as you hide, they can be hidden. You really need to understand this. We well, hope we've made that very clear. Yeah. So... If you think about this time that you have, get in contact with yourself. Get in contact with where you're from. Radiate that out. And reside in peace. Because that's what you want on the planet. Peace can't happen on the planet if internally you're feeling turmoil. Everybody, everybody says, uh, you know, when you have these competitions and things and people are asked questions, uh, what would you, you know, what would you like? Oh, world peace, world peace. Everybody wants world peace. Well, really? You want world peace, but the world starts within yourself. So find peace in yourself and let that shine out. The world's not going to come to peace through you bashing someone over the head to feel peace, shaming them into coming to peace, bullying them into coming to peace because your view on peace 
is that everybody must be controlled, silent and in agreement. So this time is a very important time for you all to see what your strengths are, to understand your power is your consciousness. And you have all the power you need to be free. You won't add more people um, to the circle of awareness by bullying them either or shaming them. Shame is actually the lowest frequency, the lowest, and it's a wonderful weapon. Don't allow yourself to be shamed. Don't allow yourself to be silenced. You will find ways. And, and this is most definitely a battle. And, and all of you have known this was coming. All of you knew it was coming. And most of you have been getting ready for it. It's just that when it happens, it's a bit overwhelming because you think it's in the future, but when it's in the now, it's completely different. Mm -hmm. However, it is in the now. And the other thing to bear in mind is this. You have, at your ready, any amount of light beings that will help you. That will work through you. So you know how we said the darkness always implants something to, to misguide or, you know, sort of reverse something, like the awareness of men and women being equal, so let's give them equal gender. Yeah, the gender confusion. Well, it's the same with asking because, you know, many will say, oh, in the new age, which has been taken over by darkness, handed over to, you know, um, the intergalactic council. They're going to rescue you all. They're going to come down on ships, take you all away, kill all of the bad guys, and then bring you back. So you have no responsibility or role in your planet at all, the planet that you chose, right? Because if you incarnated onto Earth, there'd be a number of reasons why. One could be that you've been enslaved and it's become a situation where you have to be freed. So you came as a slave, right? With your star seed, some, some of you. And so you want to be freed. You don't get freed by um, not going into your own power. What is your truth? Knowing who you are and releasing yourself is the way that you get freed, not some mystical being coming and taking you away. Right? If, you're, uh, if you have evolved from Earth or if you were part of the creation or co-creation of Earth in some way, so that means in its philosophies, in its teachings, uh, in its um, bringing down of science, medicine, astrology, healing, uh, connecting with the humans, helping them to evolve, which is education. You know, you would have an investment 
in the human being or humanity. So therefore, you feel very attached to it. And you feel it's part of your role to save it, to help it, to help humanity. So you, you actually don't help humanity by advocating total responsibility to someone else. So what that's doing when they say to you, oh, you know, this ship's going to come, it's going to take everyone, everyone's going to go, and then they're all going to come back. What it's saying to you is do not be self-responsible, that's okay. Let us be responsible for you. Okay, so what's happening in your uh, planet now? Your governments are saying, well, you're not responsible enough to know that, you know, sneeze into your elbow or wear gloves or whatever. You're not responsible enough to clean down your counters. So we're going to take responsibility for you and tell you all that you're mindless idiots and you're not allowed to go outside. Come along, children. Get inside. Do as you're told. Right, so that's the two sides, the duality of advocating responsibility. One is to the darkness and one is to what you call the light. But is it? That's the question. Because we can tell you that no light being would ever tell you to advocate responsibility in your own power, ever. So what we're saying is that this is a manipulation. So if you're sitting at home and you're praying for the aliens to come and get you, it isn't going to happen. However, what you can do is you can pray to them to help you in the sense of Inspire me, guide me, show me the way. Expose the truth. Awaken those within all these sectors of government, of media, of health, education, etc. Awaken those that need to be awakened, which is happening. A lot of people are coming out with the truth. Because their consciousness cannot bear to hide the secret for the darkness anymore. So they're all coming out and exposing the truth, even with fear of death. Now that is self-responsibility and empowerment. Because if you know that someone you're working for is doing something against humanity, The crime against humanity sits on your soul if you do not tell the truth. Because hiding something doesn't make you innocent. Because what is, what is that the truth shall set you free? And so it will. But if you're willing to hide because you're scared, then it won't. So we would like to end this communication. We'd like to do another communication, a different subject altogether. 